Good morning. My name is OnePegMG, and this is the Tarkov News for December 26, 2018. So I decided to do something a little bit different with this video, where we are going to check out not only all of the, as far as I can tell, key unlock locations, which doors are unlocked by which keys, uh, but we are also going to check out all of the extractions and how to access them. I hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, if you do consider the content valuable to you in any way, shape, or form, I would ask that you please consider subscribing to the channel as well as following my Twitch, joining us on our Discord community, and following me on Twitter. All of those links will be in the description. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you on the other side. First up in labs is the Block 2 lab key. Just as a quick aside, I don't know as of yet where the spawn locations for these keys are. I thought it to be better as a community outreach project to let everyone know which keys seemed to be the most valuable and which ones were apparent duds. An extremely generous community member by the name of Swaggleby assisted me with obtaining these keys via hawking the flea market, of which I am so very grateful for his generosity. Thanks, man. The Block 2 key opened up this rather large laboratory room with a lot of equipment, medical bottles, chemicals, etc. All kind of just strewn about. My first reaction to this room was that there might be some kind of, like, maybe stims located in it randomly, but upon further inspection, the items that really seemed like they should have interactability did not. Medical boxes and square weapons containers weren't usable, and in fact, I've yet to find anything in the room that it seems like I can interact with. I might be wrong, but it feels like this room was a bit premature in its release and looks like it might need to be updated or possibly have some bugs fixed. First extraction is the hangar gate. That's the one from the trailer with the flashing lights and the big siren. There's also this woman's voice that announces in Russian what's about to happen. This alarm, and the announcement, by the way, can be silenced both with keys and security panels or access to security rooms, which I have, but I don't know where the security panel is. If you know, if you would be so kind as to please say something in the comments, I will be sure to add it to the next video when we do that. To open the hangar gate, in the main part of the warehouse on the upper level, there is an office overseeing the warehouse and looking directly at the gate itself. In here, there is a white control panel on the desktop that you interact with in order to open up the gate. Without disabling the announcement or the alarms, they will both go off and you will attract elite scav packs, so be ready. The next extraction point is what's referred to as the main elevator. It's found in the technical or bottom level of the map in the red section marked here. The panel to turn the elevator on is relatively easy. Just follow the cabling on the wall down the hallway a bit and turn on the panel that's tucked in next to the stairs in the hallway. Once that's done, you head back to the elevator, hit the button that is now lit up green, and wait for the elevator to arrive. Once it shows up, you'll hear a nice big ding you get in, press the button, and you're out. The next extraction, also located on the technical floor, is what is referred to as the pumping room on the map. Essentially, it's a sewage pool that must be drained in order to leave. It is the most remote extraction on the map, but is also a spawn point for PMCs, so be careful. To open it, simply access the panel on one side of the pool, which will turn on a set of pumps, and then wait for the sewage to drain out. Once emptied, the extraction location on the opposite side of the pool will time down when you stand on it. The next extraction is the medical elevator, which is located in the green medical wing of the bottom level of the lab. The entire wing has an illuminated green stripe on the hallway floor, so if you see that, you're in the right area. The power for this elevator is, again, not very far away. The elevator itself is located in the hallway between rooms G3 and G4, while the power for the elevator is located in room G6. Again, hit the panel, go back to the elevator, call it, and wait. The next extraction is the cargo elevator. Now, the power switch for the cargo elevator is located on the technical level in room G1 but the elevator access itself is up a flight of stairs on the first level above you. So once you hit the power switch in G1, your best move is to head down the hallway to the stairs in the corner in the same medical wing, go up the stairs to the first level, and then hit the button there. Key number two's unlock location is a security office overlooking the parking garage. The arsenal storage room key, 
There are two big uses for this. One is for a gun spawn slash loot location behind a fence inside of the office, and the other is for a computer that disables the announcements that occur when an extraction is turned on. However, this does not disable the alarm. The next locked door location is for the, I believe, the security post key. This metal grate door here looks like it would be either for that key or the security arsenal key, but as I don't yet have those keys, I can't test them to verify it. Logic serves that this would be most likely the security post key. This also brings us to our next extraction, one of the two main extractions on the map, the parking garage. This is located in the other office overlooking the parking garage, adjacent to the room we were just in for the arsenal storage room key. If you notice, there's no longer an announcement, but the door alarm still sounds. Had I not disabled the announcement, that would have gone off as well. The next unlock location is for the manager's office key. This is the large office on the second level, 021. There are two glass doors, one on either side, that this key will access where there is a weapons crate, a couple PCs, a filing cabinet, and a safe. The next unlock location is for the weapons experiment key. This is a white shack in the center of O11 on the first level. There are two doorways and the inside contains a couple of crates. The last key is the experimental quarantine area key, found on the first level in the back of the orange zone on the border between that and the medical labs. There really wasn't anything of value that I could find in here, and it seems like this is another unfinished area, and for now this key, in my opinion, is completely worthless other than just some cool visuals. So that's more or less all I have. I've been looking for key spawn locations. I haven't found them all. Obviously, that is going to take some time. A lot of the stuff that I have been reading and a lot of stuff that I have seen looks like a lot of these keys are just dropping off of scabs randomly, which we know they tend to be added to the loot table. I still haven't been able to find the security post or security arsenal keys, and I'm still looking for the panel that the alarm key unlocks so that we could turn the alarm off. If you guys would be so kind, if you have found any of that stuff and you have an idea of what it's for, if you wouldn't mind leaving a little comment or something like that, and I will be sure to add it to the next installment, maybe brush this up and uh, complete it. As always, thank you guys so very much. I think we're coming up on like 1,700 subs for the channel now, which is absolutely nuts. Uh, the last two weeks worth of growth have been crazy, absolutely insane. I, uh, I'm, I'm beside myself. This has been a wild ride ride so far but i appreciate all the kind words i hope you guys uh, are having a happy holiday um happy new year if i don't uh, see you between now and then and uh i'll be sure to uh, come back with the next one as i get more information about point 11 all right thanks guys see ya